Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I have an update to share about one of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. So former Proud Boys chairman Enrique Tarrio wants to ditch his attorney and represent himself in court. Tarrio, as you guys know, he was arrested in March of this year. He was indicted on nine very serious felony counts, including seditious conspiracy. He was also named in a civil suit prior to that that was brought by various police officers and members of Congress. For some reason, Tarrio believes he's smarter than his licensed attorney, And he wants to act as his own defense counsel in the civil suit. So not the criminal case, but the civil suit. U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta is denying the request, but it's not because it's a ridiculous move that will probably end with me crying tears of joy. (laughs) Um, Apparently, the attorney couldn't obtain Tario's signature prior to the hearing. The attorney explained to the judge that since Tario's incarceration for the criminal charges, he has been moved around to various detention facilities. So it's making it difficult for him to sometimes even locate Tario. And then at other times, it just prevents them from communicating. So the judge wrote in his order, quote, should counsel not know of Mr. Tario's detention facility, he may contact chambers to inquire. So we'll see what happens with this. Most of the time, the judges allow it that I've seen in these cases. So it's very possible that Tario will be representing himself in this civil case, which is just going to be too good, like chef's kiss. So good. (laughs) So anyway, guys, I'll keep you posted. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. 